Okay, I am back, everybody. Hopefully. And it looks like it did help. So, welcome to part two of today's stream. Uh, if you're watching this back on YouTube, this is part two. We just finished Don Lothario's round in part one. Uh, restarting the stream does appear to have helped. So, I'm not dropping frames at the moment. So, <laughs> we just finished Don Lothario's uh, scripted events in part one of the stream. And now we're about to move on to the Goth family. It's 4.30 in the morning. Um, but, uh... I don't know, let's play Dawn a little bit longer, I guess, until it gets daylight outside, I guess. Yeah, refresh, everybody. I'm back. Refresh. Uh, I am live. You are not behind. I'm back. It's a new stream. Refresh. <laughs> it appears that I'm not dropping frames now. It really sucks that I had to restart, but uh, I'm here. I'm here. And Dawn is getting down. Dawn acquired crabs! Oh my god, Dawn got crabs! <laughs> <laughs> who did Don get crabs from? Oh my god. Who has who is spreading the crabs around Pleasant View? Okay, well we gotta take care of this. He can't go to Cassandra with crabs. Oh my god. We gotta take care of this. What do we do? Uh where am I where am I trying to go? On the phone. I gotta go to Is it the wonderful store where I gotta go? Hold on. He's got to go get some crab shampoo for his no, gym. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> now that's a lot of damage. Oh my god, y'all. Okay, so um, so we need the not so wonderful lice killing shampoo. Two hundred simoleons. Okay, get you go get you some lice shampoo at five o'clock in the morning at the drugstore, Don. That will be Cassandra's wedding gift. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. All right, Don's got to get rid of these lice before he gets these these pubic lice before he gets married. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Okay, Don, uh go use your I forgot how to use it. Hold on. Lice killing shampoo can only be used while taking a shower. Okay. Go take a shower. You got to wash these lice off of you. <laughs> what a beautiful way to start the live stream with pubic lice. Uh, oh, wait. Use medicine. Don Lothario used the lice killing shampoo and repelled all of the crabby looking bugs living around his genitalia. With the powerful effect of the shampoo, he doesn't have to fear contracting ca crab lice again for some time. <laughs> okay, great. Now it's time to get married. Uh, let's, ha let's get him a little bit of breakfast here. Um, uh, we'll do, what should we cook? Let's cook, um, you can't really have, let's have a snack instead. Let's have a snack, have a quick meal. We're going to have, let's have some cereal. I feel like Dawn would eat cereal this morning. No, I'm not going to hire Dawn the maid because he's about to move out like right now after breakfast. I'm just waiting on it to get like daylight outside so we can have a wedding. I, d I will check the girls when I get to them, yes, to make sure that so one of them has probably got crabs. Hey, Emma. <laughs> it's weird watching me play Sims 4. Uh, okay, clean up your dish because I have nothing else to do with you right now, Don. He does want to flirt with someone and he wants to woohoo with Cassandra and he wants to go for a jog. Um, but he's about to get married, so. <laughs> Don had pets. Those are Don's pets, yeah. <laughs> okay, so 6.30, I guess it's time. We're gonna go ahead and switch. No, not travel. We're gonna save and go to Manage World. If it's Nina, Dina has them too now, probably. He's gonna spread it all around. He probably spread it to everybody he slept with. Well, just those two. I don't know why I said everybody. Okay, we're going over the Goths now. Those crabs were reserved for Mortimer. <laughs> Nubia wants suggestions on what stuff pack they should get. Uh, I love Wonderful Whims as well. So Mortimer Goth is here. And Cassandra, where are you? She's standing outside here. Um, she is happy from being engaged to Dawn. So as soon as Dawn comes over... Oh, she wants to study language. 
No, she already has a degree, so I hate that that's showing up, because she, um, if we look at Cassandra's stuff over here. Nope, not there. Where am I trying to go? Where am I trying to go? Symology. Okay. Um, so Cassandra's a bookworm. She's a genius. She's family-oriented. She's a family sim. She's responsible. She would be happy to have a child. She has a tinkering hobby. She's domestic, and she's a caregiver and a sage. And uh, she obviously got a promotion, got a job, um, earned a physics degree. She got engaged and uh, fell in love with Dawn. She likes black and brown, dislikes gray and pink. She likes hardworking sims and dislikes ambitionless sims. She likes deception and she dislikes physical intimacy for conversation topics. Um, she likes handiness and writing, and she dislikes fitness and mixology. Yes, the stream is doing better now. I guess restarting did help. Oh, I gotta, uh, hydrate, too. Let me hydrate for you, Velada. And then she likes electronic music, spooky music, and she dislikes alternative music and S-pop music. <laughs> yeah, don't jinx it. Um, so that's everything about Cass Cassandra. She does have a physics degree. Um, so yeah, now we're just going to invite Dawn over and we're going to get them hitched, even though it's like seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, let's invite him to hang out at current lot. And she has an academic legacy. She wants to have three children earn a degree. That is her uh, lifetime wish or her lifetime aspiration. So I use a mod that makes the lifetime aspirations more like The Sims 2. So they're just a single goal instead of those like tutorial steps. I hate that. Um, so yeah, her her lifetime wish is to have three children earn a degree. Thank you so much for the 39 months, Metaphysica. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And glad to see you here. Um, all right, so Dawn is here, y'all, and the time has come. We're going to get married just like in Sims 2. So get married to Dawn Lathar. We're not planning a wedding event. We're doing it just the Sims 2 way. We just go out here and click on the thing and get married. <laughs> I'm not sure. No, we're not doing a wedding party. Not for this wedding. We're doing it just like in The Sims 2. Um, ooh, Mortimer's retirement pay has arrived. So Mortimer is retired from the scientist career when you uh, play this save. And they don't want to make a big... Why are they not getting married in their formal wear? Are they not in their formal... Why? Do they not change into their formal wear? Oh my god. They're just wearing their... Out They're just wearing their... Cold weather clothes? Okay. I thought they would change. Can I, ch I don't know if I could change it. Can I change it with MC Command Center just real quick? Change outfit formal? Or is it going to be like a, oh yeah, that does work. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Uh, change outfit formal. Okay. Now. Pretend that they were always in their formals, okay? <laughs> All right. So, they're getting married. Oh, I gotta take a screenshot. See you. And he's gonna go through with it. Where's Mortimer? Did anybody even come out here? No. <laughs> Mortimer and Alexander are just like, whatever. Oh my god, come watch wedding. Come out here. Alexander, get out here. Nobody even cares. Nobody even cares they're out here getting married by themselves. There we go. Moving in together. Click OK to split from household. So what we're going to do is obviously move Don into the goth household. And he's going to take all of his money. If all the Sims are transferred out of this household, all of the household's belongings will be sold or transferred. So we want to sell his furnishings, right? Yeah. And he's going to come over to this family. Well, if I sell the lot furnishings, will they stay in the lot? Yes? Okay, great. Awesome. Thank you. All right. So Don's coming over. And did anybody see how much money he brought with him? Hold on. Let me put him back. 748 is all he's going to bring. Surely not. Let's see. 
748. And then it's at 512, 442. All right, let's do this. All right, 41,698. 41,698. Uh, hold on. I have a spreadsheet over here. 41,698. So I'm putting how much Dawn brought to the marriage. Um, because if they do end up getting divorced, which is a real possibility in the future, uh, I want to make sure that he does not take any more than he brought in. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not getting that money if he doesn't stay with Cassandra. Um, I'll probably have to, I think I can do a lope secondhand for the, for, uh, Dina and Mormer. I think I can do a lope. We'll see. There is a mod for autonomous proposals and breakups. Yeah. Oh, Mortimer came to hug her and, and congratulate her. So at least he was there for it. All right. So Dawn now lives here and that's really all we need to do for this, uh, for this family right now. What I do like to do, though, is how... So, here's the Goth Mansion, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Um, I do want to have them come up here and woohoo. Because he did want to woohoo. He wants to have a dream date. Let's see what Cassandra wants to do. She cannot study language and, le and literature. Or volunteer with family or share ideas. I was going to have them try for a baby because usually Cassandra rolls the wish to try for a baby. But she is not right now. So, um, she would be happy to have a child. And Dawn does not want a child. I need to change Dawn's thing. Hold on. Come here, Dawn. We're going to go to relationships, family, and pregnancy. We're going to go to pregnancy and family. Um, thoughts on having children. And we're going to let fate and time decide because he might decide he wants a child in the future. So, yeah. Um, that's really all I'm going to do with them right now. We will come back and start their family. Uh, Mortimer and... Alexander will be moved out of this household when we come back. So let's go ahead and save there. All right. <laughs> Cassandra did have him sign a prenup. I did. I made that happen. All right, we're going to manage worlds. Um, and then we're going to, now we're going to go and do Dina and Nina's household. It shouldn't be lagging. It still says I have a I have a solid connection. Should not be lagging. If it's lagging now, it ain't. My, it's not my fault. Oh, and did you guys see that I even updated these little districts too? The condo district, the trailer park district, Main Street, um, Sim Lane, and Right Way. It was one second lag. Okay, good. It's back. Yeah, it does say I dropped 0.4 frames for a second. Yeah. Um, you can do that, but you have to make a mod to do it. So I just made a little mod that does it. So you can, if you get my save file, you can download the mod and put it in. Because you have to go in and, a, and you have to go into uh, Sims 4 Studio and adjust the text strings yourself. It took me a little while to figure out how to do it, but I figured it out. Okay, uh... Wait, they never roll the want because it's broken, but there's a mod to fix it. Uh, about what? Did I miss something? Zodiac Emma. Oh, hey Cindy, how do you determine Sims and the Sims 2 get divorced? My Sims never roll the want to get a divorce at this point. I don't think it's a thing. Um, yeah, Secondhand says there's a mod to fix it. And I don't think I have the mod, so I need to add that to my list of things to do. <laughs> I need to, uh, get the, I, I need to get the mod for the Milestones mod. And then I need to get the fixed divorce want mod. Okay, those are coming up. And oh, I did I get oh I did do screenshots. Okay, I did do screenshots for you guys when we were doing the um, the wedding. Okay, so now we're going to play the Kelly and Say Sisters, Ooh -hoo -hoo. which we've already played them a little bit, I guess. Um, so we'll just click on Dina here. Aw, thank you so much for the 39 month prime sub light and frost. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So Dina's want lifetime wish is to suffer the deaths of three preferably wealthy spouses. Now she's technically already had one. So I wonder if there's a way that I can 
make make that like because this is Michael Bachelor over here. So maybe I'll just ha I'll just I'll keep that in mind, and when she suffers two more spouses' deaths, then I'll just fulfill this for her. Oh, you're talking about in The Sims 2. You weren't even talking about in The Sims 4 with the breakup want fix? Oh, I have that in The Sims 2. I thought there was one in The Sims 4. You were talking about Sims 2. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, anyway, so let's take a look at Dina here. She is lazy, materialistic. She's a goofball. She would be happy to have a child. She's a mediator and she has the nature hobby. She's a fortune sim. She has business savvy, and she's a jester. She's a goofball. Um, her first woohoo was with Dawn. Uh, she earned a language and literature degree at college. And she fell in love with Dawn, and she fell in love with Mortimer Goth. She's in love with both of them. Don't forget to check for the condo crabs, yes. Um, she likes black and blue, dislikes green and brown. She likes uh, homebody sims, and she dislikes optimistic sims. She likes pessimists. She likes to talk about stories. She likes to tell stories and she hates small talk. She likes comedy and gardening and she dislikes fitness and handiness. She likes pop and retro music and she dislikes alternative and world music. So that's Dina in a nutshell. And now she wants to flirt with Brandy. Dina. Dina wants to flirt with Brandy. <laughs> Is Dina bisexual? I guess she is. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> but she's about to get married to Mortimer God. <laughs> um, I handpicked one. So for all of the Sims, if you download the save file, I handpicked one color music station and activity that they liked. And the other ones were randomized because I use a mod that like um, gives them more robust likes and dislikes. Dina's our bisexual queen. I had no idea, Dina. I didn't know. Uh, but okay, Dina, you need to change. First of all, change your clothes. Um, change into your everyday clothes. I need to update everybody's winter clothing too because I made this with base game only. So you know there's not much in the base game to use as their winter clothing. So I need to give everybody better winter outfits as well. And oh, we need to bring Dina, Nina here. Uh, bring me to Caliente here. I'm, ke I'm getting a last exception every time somebody comes onto a lot or leaves a lot. So that's really weird. Um, okay, so Dina, first thing we're going to do is invite Mortimer Goth to hang out here. Okay. And Nina White, you need to, you need to go, you need to be upstairs on the patio having a drink like it's meant to be. Okay. No, let's make your favorite drink. Hold on. Make drink. Make favorite drink. Okay. You go up and have a drink while your sister marries Mortimer Goth in the front yard. Oh, and, ne and Dina needs to be in her bathing suit. Dina needs to be in her bathing suit. Hold on. We gotta get it. We gotta do it right. <laughs> she needs to be in her bathing suit. <laughs> Sims 4 has wants to flirt with Sims inconsistent with your Sims sexual preferences. Yeah. I wonder if there's a fix for that. Okay, Mortimer's here. So, Dina's about to be aggressive. Isn't that what the little pop-up says in The Sims 2? Be aggressive. We're going to propose marriage to him. Okay, first, let's have a first kiss. All right. Oh, well, let's ask to be boyfriend. Let's do first kiss first. First kiss... Ah, Charlie Pratt. Hello, hello. And I want to put the walls up so it looks better. There we go. Okay, Dina, Nina's upstairs drinking just like it was meant to be. Um, they don't have sentiments when you first start out the save file, FP. Except for, I think, Dawn and Cassandra do because they're engaged. Okay, and then we're going to do um, Ask to be Boyfriend. That's the next step. Be aggressive. Okay, that worked. And then we're, go then we're going to um, propose. All right, Dina's proposing to Mortimer. 
<laughs> he missed the paper boy or paper girl interrupting. Yeah. Um, they these two are not already engaged. Cassandra and and Don are, but these two are not. No. Um, Dina has not been feeling very romantic lately and is starting to feel kind of unflirty. Oh my god. He said no? Oh my god. And it made her unflir unflirty. <gasps> oh my god. What are we gonna do? We have to make this happen. Oh no. Oh no. This is not working how it needs to work. Uh, okay, um, he said no because they just had their first kiss, and you can't do it that fast like you can in The Sims 2, in The Sims 4. Um, you had that happen in The Sims 2 once? Wow. This isn't how you're supposed to play the game! <laughs> if your Sims have the first kiss moodlet, they will say no. Okay, I'm gonna decline this, because this was not supp supposed to happen. She does feel loyal and committed to her relationships. Trust is important to her. I will take that. Should I take that? I will take that. Um, yeah, she didn't feel like she wanted to be unflirty because she felt like it was just the wrong time. So, how long does the first kiss moodlet last? Now she's very, very flirty. New partner, eight hours. So we're gonna have to wait like eight hours to make this happen, I guess. Um, I can't make him say yes. I wish I could. I wonder if I could uh, control him and then get rid of that. Get rid of that moodlet. Is it the new new relationship moodlet? Surrounded by friends, he's rejected. Awkward encounter. Ooh, okay. That's, uh, yeah. Um, let's see. I do have control. Dang it. Or maybe I don't have it installed in this. Hold on. Ah, uh, I think I only had it in my build save. I don't think I had it here. Right. Okay, we're just gonna wait it out. We'll just wait it out. We got time. Oh, it's in actions? Yeah, I don't think I have it. I don't think I have it. Dang! Well, I can shift click it off of her, but then he'll still have it. I mean, we could just hang out with him for like eight hours. <laughs> Not getting rejected with her bikini on. We'll just hang out with him for eight hours and then we'll have the wedding in the front yard. Um, so, I don't know. Oh, okay, thank you, Outer Sims. Outer Sims says, MCC, go to MC Cheats. Um, uh, Cheat Sim Info, Mood Buff Control, Remove Buff. Oh, what's the name of a, what's the name of the moodlet? Does anybody know? Hmm, I need to know the name of the moodlet. Uh, Sims for moodlet names. List of moodlets. Um, let's see. That does not help, because that doesn't tell me the actual name of them. Oh, we can click OK and it will show all of his? Oh, thank you. Oh, cool. Uh, okay, so we need... Let's see. No. Nope. Awkward encounter. Does not want a child right now. Feeling lucky. Fine. New partner. Is that what we need? New partner to remove? Unwanted proposal. Oh my god. Let's remove that buff. And see if he'll say yes now. Maybe, I don't know if we'll be able, will we be able to propose to him again? Let's do it. Let's see if that works. Maybe I should have just removed all of them. Oh, he's gonna say yes this time. Yes, that worked. Thank you guys, that worked. Yes. 
Aww, that worked. <laughs> not all of them. Yeah, not all of them Outer Sims. I wouldn't click. I meant like the, all the romantic ones. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I wouldn't do all of them because you don't want to re remove all those hidden ones. Yeah, you're right. Um. Okay, so that worked. Now let's do... Uh, well, let's finish the proposal. <laughs> and let's, uh, can we just elope immediately? Let's elope, tie the knot right here, right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, Let me get out of the way so you guys can see. Do, do. Do, do, do. Getting married in the front yard in her bikini, just like it's meant to be. Yes. <laughs> Hello, hey, it's Malala. Yeah. Oh, screenshot, screenshot. Hold on. Ah, I missed the screenshot. There we go. I love how Nina's in the background. She just doesn't care. Hold on. Let's go. Let's do it from this side if I can. No. Okay, don't do that. I'll just get this screenshot right here with Nina in the background. <gasps> Wait, how do I... Okay, there we go. There we go. Screenshot of them getting married in the front yard. Yes. <laughs> and yes, I will save immediately after this. Uh, definitely. Aww. Do, do, do. What a beautiful ceremony. Dina is exchanging her vows with Mortimer. I'll love you and your money for as long as you shall live, Mortimer. Oh, let me, I, my, my face is in the way. Hold on. There we go. Aww. Aww. Let's get another screenshot. Let's get a screenshot of this. Aww. It's kind of sweet in its own little way, isn't it? <laughs> I know that was a weird angle on Dina's body. Um, okay, so let's split up the household. So now Mortimer and Alexander are moving in to the Caliente household. And they're going to bring... Um, I'm going to bring 10% of the money. So 553,392 times 10% is 55,339. Alright, that's how much I'm transferring over. Yes. Okay. And that's what he is bringing to the family. All right. Perfect. <laughs> now let's save right here. And the next thing we need to do... Does Alexander even know Dina? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, he needs to be at school. Can I have him go to school? I have to do it from here. Go to school. Go to school. He he came home for his dad's wedding and he's going back to school. Okay, great. Um, but he lives here now. So the next thing we need to do is have Nina move out. It's time for her to move out on her own way. So, um, wait, somebody's calling. Who was calling? So can I have her? What's the best way to do that? Have her find her own place, or just can we call from the phone? Like, I don't should I just do it in the neighbor in the neighborhood screen? Oh, here we go. Um, trend, social bunny, entertainment, travel, home. I think I should just do it from the. Oops, browse web. Where is it? Split from household and move. Okay, great. Got it. Got it. Oh, she wanted to move out too. Oh, I love that. She even had the want from The Sims too. She wanted to move out. Okay, so she's moving out on her own and I'm going to give her 10% of this money. No, or yeah. Well, actually, how much did they have before? I'm going to give her 10%. How much should I give her? Should I give her 10% of the household money? We'll just say, yeah, Dina and Mortimer are giving her a gift of a little bit of money to start out on her own. 69%. So I'm going to give her 10%. Yeah, they had 1,025. Um, so I am going to give her, they're going to give Dina a gift of 5636 $5,636. 
um, to start out on her own. And she is going to be in a new household. <laughs> and now I want to move her into the apartments. Um, but they are not quite finished yet. So maybe we can go in and take a look at the apartments and see what we can do. So I'm not, I'm just going to exit out of this and she'll be in the household bin for the moment. Um, let's go into the apartment and I want to see if I can set this up. I need to save right now before I do anything else. Let's save because we made all of that progress. And so what I want to do is move her into this apartment right up here. And I need to figure out how to do that. So this needs to be a... Is this how I do it? I don't know. I've never played with For Rent. I just downloaded it this morning. Um... Is it a lot type? Residential rental. Okay, hold on. Uh, res vacation rental. Wait, am I missing it? Oh, residential rental. Okay. Residential rental. Okay, great. So now, unit outlines. Okay, so the name of this is going to be the Pleasant Vista Apartments. All right. We have got the unit. So they're one bedroom, one bath. And we need to set uh, rooms to this unit. Hold on. All right. Um, assign ro all rooms to this unit? No, that's not what I want to do. Now, oh, and now I click on the rooms. Oh, okay. This is Pleasant Vista. Oh, this is Create Unit. Um, existing unit has no rooms assigned. It must assign a room before creating the units. Okay. Oh, okay. No, I need. what I need to say here is Apartment 1, right? Apartment A. We'll call this Apartment A. I see. I see. So this needs to be assigned to Apartment A. Okay, I got it. I got it. Every apartment needs their own mailbox in Sims 4. Okay, thank you for that. I will get her her own mailbox. So that's apartment A. This is apartment A. And this bathroom is also apartment A. Okay, great. So that is all apartment A. And then let's get, so let's get a mailbox. Um, can I use this apartment mailbox? Oh, you, a balconies too. Oh, you can use one mailbox for the whole building? Can I use the apartment mailbox? Because I'd rather do that. Yes? Okay, hold on. Ah, I can't put it there. I'll have to put it on the side. There's a multi-mailbox? Hold on. Oh, this right here. This multi-mailbox. Okay, this is what we're going to get. Maybe. This has three mailboxes on it. This has a bunch. We don't really need that many. But what do you guys think? Should I just... That looks like way too big. I need to see if I can download one that has like four on it. Um... I think I'll just do... Oh, what we could do is three of these and one of the other little, little ones. Maybe? You know what? I'm just going to give everybody their own mailbox. Everybody just gets their own mailbox. Um, hopefully that will work, okay? No, your mailboxes. You have to go through here for your mailbox. I don't know. That's weird. I don't know where else to put it, though. Okay, so it can't go on the balcony. So I tell you what we'll do with these up here. Um, it's, there's really no place to put it. So I guess I'll just put one of these here for the, for the upstairs ones. Or you know what we could do is delete this glass thing because that was only there for the purposes of The Sims 2 to enclose it. So we'll just delete that and then put the mailboxes right here. I think that should do it. Okay. 
And then also we need to enclose, do the patio. Um, that's apartment A. Yeah. Can they get to it there? I think so. All right. So, um, unit value 13,323. And let's see, where do I set the rent and all that? Oh, put them at the bottom next to the stairs. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Yeah, we could do that. That's a good idea. But would it would that count as the right mail? Well, like, would they know that was their mailbox? Oh, the rent's automatic. You have to play as the landlord to set the rent. Okay. It should auto-pick for one for you as a tenant. Okay. Okay. All right. That's cool. Thank you, guys. Um, so that's apartment A. So let's do a new unit. How do we do a new unit? Unit configuration. We can only do one unit at a time. Um, I'm trying to figure out what to do. Like, how can I create more units? Click on shared and the add button. Ah, create unit. Thank you. So this will be apartment B. There we go. And so let's add apartment B. This is also apartment B. And the bathroom is apartment B. And the patio is apartment B. And for some reason it didn't take, it didn't do the whole patio here. Hold on. There we go. I can hear my neighbors screaming at each other downstairs and it's very distracting. Yes, I will rename the whole thing. Pleasant Vista Apartments. Oops. Pleasant Vista Apartments. There we go. And then, so that's apartment A and B. And then downstairs we'll have apartment D and C. So this we're gonna do create unit, apartment C. Or I guess we could do, yeah, I'm just gonna do A, B, C, D, that's fine. It's a one bedroom, one bath, even though it doesn't have a bedroom and a bath. It Like this one's not finished. So actually I think I will not can I delete that one? Delete that one. That one's not ready. That one's not ready for anybody to live in it. Um, this one is not quite ready either, so I'm not going to assign these yet. Right now, only A and B are completed and ready to have somebody move in. So I think that's fine. I can come back and work on the other ones later, which I really like because in The Sims 2, you can't, it's hard to do that. So, if I don't assign them, they'll be public. Oh, they can enter those? Hmm. That sucks. Well, you know, I'll just, I'll... Okay, so what I'll do is before I play this lot, I'll finish these. Right now, we're just gonna move Nina in. And, yeah, I guess I can go ahead and assign them, yeah. I guess I can. Will other, will other Sims move in? I could delete the doors, I did think of that too. Will other Sims move in, or do you have to move Sims in? You think they will move in? Oh, because I have story progression off. Okay, awesome, awesome. All right. So, um, let's go ahead and assign it then. We'll create uh, apartment three, or apartment C, not apartment three. It's gonna be a one bedroom, one bath once we get it finished. And uh, that's it. That's all we really need to do for that. And then let's add, uh, oh, let's assign all the rooms. Apartment C, apartment C. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Undo. And then apartment C. Okay, so that's all of apartment C. And then we will add apartment D. Okay. And that's also a one bedroom, one bath. All the apartments here are. And we're gonna, so we'll assign that. We'll assign that. 
the bedroom and the patio. Oops. Can I not assign the patio? Why not? Why not? Did I, I signed the other one, didn't I? Apartment C, yeah. Hmm. Apartment C, apartment C's did assign. But apartment D um, is not assigning for some reason. Let me try to redo it. Maybe redraw it. Or something. Did that work? Yeah, that worked. So this will be apartment D. Okay, I just had to redraw it for some reason. Let me put the flooring back on. Okay, perfect. So now we have all of our spaces assigned and then everything else will be public space. Um, and I'm gonna put like hot tubs and stuff. So I have to finish this lot. Obviously it's not finished, but it's finished enough for Anina to go ahead and move in. Anina's apartment is finished, so she can go ahead and move in. All right, let's save. Oops, I didn't save. Apartment C's bathroom was missing. Hold on, let me go back. Oh, and let me see the rent. 90 dot man, that's cheap rent. How how often do they have to pay? 99 per day. Oof. Oof. Um uh, 87 so Nina's is only 87 per day. And her lease length is seven days. That's kind of rough. That's kind of rough. Um, let me go downstairs. Now, it looks like the bathroom's all set, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Rating one. Yeah, nobody should move into this one. It's not finished, and this one's not finished either. But these two, these two are finished. 87 per day, 87 per day. The furnishings are a little bit more expensive in this one. So, do you have to buy the furnishings, or can you rent the furnishings? Um, secondhand, I think they will move in if you're using story progression. They will move in. But I have all that turned off, so nobody will move into the apartments. Yeah, I should create a landlord from The Sims 2. That's a great idea. You can rent the furnishing. It comes with everything in it. Okay, awesome. So, what we need to do now is go get Nina. Um... And we need to change this household name to... Uh, thank you so much, WendyWoo94, for the Prime sub. We need to change this to the Lothario household. Oops. Lothario household. And we need to change this to the Goth household. And we need to move Nina in to her apartment. Yay. Okay. So we're going to move her obviously into the apartment. I always move her in the pink one up here. Um, optional furnishings, 9,060. Is that how much she would have to pay? If she can't afford the furnishings. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, okay. Well, can I, how do I move her in? I, can I accept it? Or she has to have that much to move in. Oh, the truck. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, y'all. Okay. Thank you so much for your help today. As you can tell, I'm very rusty on this. Well, I've never played for rent before. This is my first time ever playing for rent on this stream, obviously. Thank you for your help. Um, so daily rent 87, remaining funds in negative 3424. Is it, it won't let her move in. She can't afford to move there. Okay, so she's got to borrow some more money from her sister. There's no other choice. She's got to. She's got to. Uh, she's got to. She's got to take a loan. So she needs 3,500 dollars more from uh, her sister. So what I'm gonna do. Plus 3,500. Okay. Did that work? Oh, you can't do it from the screen, can you? I, 
can I do unfurnished? I don't want to do free, free real estate because that feels too cheaty. We'll do, unfur we'll do unfurnished and she'll just have to get her own furniture as she goes. Okay? Yeah, we'll just do unfurnished because that's, I think, how I usually do it. So, unfurnished. And now she lives there. Let's go check it out. Wait, I don't, I wanted to play it. Play. I don't want to do free real estate. It feels too cheaty. Um, I'm happy with this. She's moving in unfurnished. And we can just furnish it for her. You just, okay, so she has to get her utilities turned on, first of all. Uh, thank you so much, Andy Paradise, for the two-month Prime sub. I really appreciate that. So what we're going to do is get her uh, utilities turned on. So we're going to get her, she has 5,000, so we might as well get her the premium home, premium home package, if I can talk. So she gets premium cable and premium internet, plus she gets cell phone, power, water, and garbage collection. Um, so I just realized I don't think I have a trash can on this lot either. Um, she has no bathroom or kitchen though. That's okay. We'll, we'll get her everything she needs. No, all my work's not, not gone. I don't think just because she moved in unfurnished. Like I think the other one can still be moved in furnished as well. Um, okay. Yeah. You can't see the furnishing in the other lots. Yeah. I didn't know it would not give her bathroom and kitchen stuff too. So I'm going to have to redo that. Let's give redo give her the bathroom and kitchen stuff real quick. Let's see. What did I, I think I did? Which ones are pink? I need the pink. I need pink. I need pink. These right here. Okay. So I don't remember what the setup was now. I don't remember what the setup was. Um... I think stove here. I don't, I don't remember. Um, I know that there were three. I think you only had. I don't remember. I know there, I know that the stove went 3,000. No, thank you. She's going to have the cheapest stove ever. Not the cheapest stove ever. Um, actually, I don't think I used the cheapest stove. I think I used this one, but she's poor, so she's gonna have to do this one. And then the fridge. I think that was the setup. I think. I'm sure there are mods to lower the rent. Does anybody know of any? And then I think this was the setup, but I can go double check later. And then let's give her, there's going to be a light up here. We got to have a light. I do remember that. It's, I think it's different from the other apartment though. So there was a light right there. And then, uh, I think this is right. If I can recall from my memory, I've played, I've played in this apartment a lot, but you don't really pay attention that much. Like I don't. So I'm gonna give her a table and chairs. She is quickly running out of money. <laughs> she definitely will not be able to afford all the furniture that was in here. So I'm just gonna give her that. Let's put lights and then the bathroom stuff in a bed is like what's most important next. Uh, let's give a light in the in the bedroom. A light in here. Um, for the bathroom, we'll just do like a super cheap light in there. <laughs> I do use the light switches and stuff in The Sims 4, yeah. She's in her struggle area era, for sure she is. So she's got a table and chair. Let's get her like bathtub and stuff that she needs first. So I'm just going to get her this cheapest tub. So I'm pretty sure the tub is uh, right here. Yeah. And then the sink is right here, I believe. Where's the sink over here? The sink's over here. The sink's over there and the toilet is right here. Oops. Yes. And let's get her a medicine cabinet. 
right there. And um, a toilet paper roll. She at least needs toilet paper. Okay, and um, that's the basic. She only has 1900 left. <laughs> the struggle of the kitchen crib. Oh yeah, that's coming back. <laughs> and so she's got her bathroom she's got her kitchen now we need to get her a bed first of all most importantly she needs a bed so what is a cheap that one's pretty cheap that'll work so there's a bed for her and then let's get her if we can afford a dresser for her um so I actually had put a dresser over here. I wanted like a wardrobe for her, so that'll work. She's got 956 simoleons left. I want to get a curtain on this window. Sims 4 furniture is really pretty, yeah. Um, okay, that's nice. We could get two of those. God, they're 100 each. Oof. These are 70. Okay, no, that's not gonna work. That doesn't even cover anything up. That's too big. That doesn't fit. That doesn't fit. That doesn't fit. What's gonna fit this? I mean, that, eh, that doesn't really fit either. Oh, perfect! This right here! <laughs> that doesn't, no, that's like a child's, that's like a child. Okay, the white. We'll use the white. And then I'm also going to move her bed over here, I think. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. That's good. And I need to get some recolors of that curtain. And then now she has 706 left. She, I don't know if she's going to be able to pay her rent. She's going to have to get a job immediately. But we'll go ahead and get her, like, a little couch. Um, just so she has something. A couch, and then can she afford a TV or any? She can afford a teeny tiny little... No, she only has 500 simoleons. So, instead of a TV, she's gonna get a bookshelf. That's all she can get. That's all she can have. Um, Let's get something. 175. This one's kind of cute. We'll just get that and put it right here. And that's all she's got. But she's going to be able to survive. Okay? She's surviving. She's struggling, but she's surviving. Yeah, she needs 700 a week for rent. So she's gonna, she's got to get a job immediately. Um, actually, let's just go ahead and do that for her. Let's get her a job. Um, Nita, you've got to do something. Where are you? Okay. Let's have her get a job immediately. This is usually what I do in The Sims 2 as well. She's going to join a career. So I'm probably, because I don't have a dance career, I will always have her join the dance career in The Sims 2. Start an OnlyFans. Oh my god, if she's pregnant. Can you imagine if she was pregnant right now? Oh. Um, we are going to do, I'm going to have her join the athletic career, I think. Because the, she's she's into fitness and sports and stuff. Um, what do you guys think? Would that be best for her? She doesn't really have a wish one way or the other. She's got to get a job. I think, um, yeah. I think athletic would be best for her. Yeah. You do athlete for Nina too. That or barista. I mean, I don't want to give her a part-time because she's got to, she's got to make some money quick. So we're going to give her athlete. So she's going to start as a water person making $21 an hour and hopefully that'll be good enough. Um, she does have a degree. Oh yeah, let's look at her stuff real quick. So she's active, romantic, non-committal. She has a sports hobby. She's a romance sim. She's compassionate. She does not want a child right now. She's alluring, she's a lover, and she's a hero. And I want to change her doesn't want a child right now um, to fate and time decide. But we will let her get on birth control if she doesn't want a child. She had her first woohoo. 
She had got a job. Um, she earned a, she has a degree in biology. She has a degree in biology. She fell in love. Um, let's see. She's starting at level one. Yeah, I don't know. No, it's because I have, uh, mods that affect that. So I use the career overhaul mod and I think it affects that. Um, how, where they start and all that. I'm pretty sure. Uh, thank you so much, Andy Paradise, if I didn't say so. For the two-month Prime sub. I don't remember if I thanked you, but thank you. And Wendy Woo 94 for the Prime sub as well. If I was distracted, thank you so much. Oh, Bodybuilder was... Oh, okay, hold on. I was supposed to choose Bodybuilder. Oh, okay. Uh, let's... Okay, we're gonna have to have her quit then and get a new job. Let's have her quit her job. Travel home, shopping, business, social... Business? Quit job. Let's do this again, my bad. What else? Blood -o -blow -fa. <laughs> For joy okay, she's gonna quit that job. Because <laughs> she got a better offer. She got a better offer to be a bodybuilder, so she's going that route. I know she's non-committal. You don't have to tell me. All right, come on, Nina. You got a better job offer. Qu tell them you can't go. You can't be a water person because you're about to be a body builder. Um, so she's gonna make seventy five simoleons per hour because of her biology degree, y'all. That's gonna be so much better. Okay, and she got a sign on bonus of six hundred and five simoleons. Yes. Um, we could actually use that to get her something, like, get her a TV and stuff. So let's use that, let's use her little bonus to get her a TV. And I know she needs money for rent, but she should be able to make that, um, before rent's due. So I want to get a little side table to put the TV on. Just a little cheapy. Where's the one I want? Where's the one I want? There it is. Okay, and let's put her TV on it. No, she can't even afford 900. Oh, 500. Man, can I make it bigger? Oops. No, get, no. Okay, fine. It won't go. Nah! Alright, I keep screwing it up. Hold on. Nope, it won't go on there if I make it bigger. Okay, she's gotta have this little tiny ass TV. <laughs> She's happy to quit her job because she's non-committal, yeah. So she's got a little TV, and I don't really like where that... I'm going to put that over here. The bookshelf. Okay. Um, she's got her TV. She's got a bookshelf. She's got everything she needs to survi survive. She does need a trash can, though. Um, she doesn't have a trash can. Let's see... I don't know where to put it. I'm just going to put it right there. No, actually, I hate that. I hate that trash can. We're going to get this one. And put it right there. Okay, perfect. Now she has everything she needs to survive. She can make it. She can make it now. Uh, it's not great, but she does have a really good job. So she's going to make it. She's going to be just fine, y'all. She's going to be just fine. So she needs, she needs to be working on these skills, though. Man. She's got to get a lot of skills. So she's actually level six. Dang. In the bodybuilder career. So good for her. All right, let's save. Um, I haven't seen the new Paralives gameplay. I plan on looking at that very soon and making a video about it. And Don would give her a bigger TV just so he could watch it when he comes over. Yeah, really. Alright, so now we're done with Nina. We've got her all set up in her new life. So we're going to go back out to manage worlds. And I'm going to finish the apartments, um, like, off camera. So hopefully those will be all done by the next time we play. And so what is our next family in line? After, uh, Nina. Is it the Brokes? I think it's the Brokes. And then we do the Dreamers. It's Broke, then Dreamer, then Pleasant. And then we do burbs. We really don't have to do anything to burbs and oldies. They're already all set up. Uh, yeah. So we'll play the brokes. 
Where are you, Brokes? So, 55 Woodland Drive. I don't think it's done. Mm -mm. Dustin has no skills. Dustin, you're supposed to be at school. Go to school. What are you doing? Get to school. Uh, Brandy. Bring Brandy broke here. So Brandy is on welfare. Actually, um, I went ahead and got her set up on welfare if you saw my video on YouTube. So, uh, she, yeah, she's already on welfare, so we're not going to worry about her getting a job because she has to take care of little Bo. She wants to chat with Nina. Study fine arts. You are not, you can't go to university right now and watch a cooking show. So Brandy, if we look at her personality, she's a foodie. She's family oriented. She's materialistic. She's a family sim. Arts and crafts hobby. Would be happy to have a child. Good, because you about to have one. She's irresponsible. She's domestic and she's a caregiver and she's sinister. She's up to no good. Really, Brandy? I don't know. Um, so she had her first woohoo. She, Dustin joined the family, uh, and Bo, shouldn't it say Dustin? And, oh, Dustin and Bo joined the family. It's time to get a job. Yeah, she can't get a job right now. Uh, wid she was a widow and she fell in love with Skip Broke and became a widow. So she likes, uh, orange and pink and she dislikes brown and black. She likes egotistical sims, and she dislikes cerebral sims. She likes egotistical sims. She likes stories, and she dislikes compliments. <laughs> she dislikes compliments, man. I, oh, uh, that's sad. Um, she likes kids' radio music and pop music. She dislikes world music and s-pop music. And she likes cooking and painting, and she dislikes rocket science and video gaming. All right, so that's Brandy. She likes a man with confidence who treats her like crap. Yeah, I mean, don't we all? <laughs> oh, maybe that's just me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't really like a man who treats me like crap, but I do like a man with confidence. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, she, we even have the pizza in here ready to go. Dustin's gone off to, going off to school, and Brandy is going to teach a bow... I guess he already knows how to walk, so we can't really teach him how to walk. We can teach him to talk, though. Let's teach him to talk. Or let's go inside first. Let's pick up, um, can we pick him up? Toddler care. I just want to pick him up. Can I not? Oh, yeah, there it was. Pick him up. <laughs> And then go here. I want to check the dust level. No, thank you. Uh, yeah, S pop, sim pop. I thought it was kind of like K the sim version of K pop, is what I thought it was. All right, and then we're going to teach him to talk. Let's see, toddler care. Is it under toddler care? Where is it under? Oh my god. Uh, parenting. No. Friendly? I, where is it? Where is it? Uh. Am I losing my mind? Activities? Oh, there it is. It's under activities. Jeez, these menus. You can't find anything. Okay, teach to talk. All right. So she's going to teach little Bo how to talk. And little Bo, he doesn't have much... Uh, go he's angelic. He's an angelic toddler. He's a very good boy. Um, he wants to read his first book, I guess. And learn to talk. Study shapes. Learn to climb stairs. So we'll, tr we'll try to teach him all we can. Um, Quirk revealed little singer. Bo really loves to sing. And toddlers who are little singers enjoy singing and tend to sing at random day. Yay! I love that. That matches him so well because his hobby is always music and dance. And he got the uh, communication and imagination skills. 
So none of these houses, I haven't put any of like the thermostats and stuff in these houses yet. I need to do that for everybody. Um, new dynamic, new family dynamic jokesters. Brandy and Bo just can't stop cracking each other up. It's always a hoot when these two are in the same room. Aw, I love that. Yes, yes. I will describe the family dynamic between Brandy and Bo as jokesters. Yes, I will. Yeah. What a boo! So cute. <laughs> so yeah, she's just gonna work on teaching him. Oh, somebody's calling her. Who's calling? Hey, welcome to Pleasant View Artisans, Brandy. Try starting a gathering from the club panel. We will, but not right now. Not right now. Right now we're trying to get through the scripted events. So what we're gonna do is work on teaching Bo all of his toddler stuff. Brandy should be finding out soon that she's pregnant. And then also when Dustin gets home, he's gonna have his first kiss with Angela. Yeah, Dina and Brandy usually end up um, getting a well... A Getting along really well. And let me hydrate for you, Sophie Sins. <laughs> Her husband died in a mysterious pool letter accident. Yeah, I mean, isn't the pregnancy supposed to be unpaused when you're playing, right? Or do, you, do I have to do something to unpause it while it's the played household? Oh, I do need to save game. Okay, Sophie. Oh, that's a good idea, secondhand. We'll recreate Dustin sneaking out with him going to community lot with Angela. Um, let's see. No flags on MC pregnancy, so is she good? Does that mean she's good? Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, there's a sneak out option too. Yeah, we'll have them sneak out together. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. Um, I don't know what you mean. I do not care by what version of Sims 4 is it. Is it the basic one? I don't, I don't know what that means. It's Sims 4 with a bunch of expansion. The father of the baby is Skip broke her dead husband. She got pregnant right before he passed away. Okay, continue, continue. And he reached level 2 communication skill and Brandy reached level 2 parenting. And what's wrong with him? He's sad? Oh, he's tired of learning to talk. Okay, he's tired. So stop making him learn to talk and let's take him to the potty. Do you have to potty train? Yeah, potty train. Uh, yes, um, I match Bo with uh, Brittany. Brittany Parker, which she's now Brittany Oldie. Yes, I will be playing with infants. Yes. Yeah, our little Bobby broke. Unborn broke. <laughs> it might be a boy, it might be a girl. I don't know. Ah. No, no, Deborah. I like to use townies now instead of having them adopt uh, randos. Yeah, you can check MCC pregnancy if it's unpaused, but then you will also spoil the gender of the baby. Yeah, I know. I think it... I don't think it's paused because I think it's only paused. It only pauses when I'm not playing them, but I might be wrong. Dustin's home from school. He swiped an object while he was at school, and he returned home from school with a school project. Okay, Dustin. So now what you got to do is invite Angela over. Um, so you guys can have your first kiss in your bedroom. So Dustin broke. Oh, I can have her take a pregnancy test. Yes, that's what I'll do. Great job. Great idea, Big Kratos. So Dustin is a kleptomaniac. He's materialistic. He has a nature hobby. He is a fortune sim with business savvy. And he's sinister like his mom. He's always up to no good. And he fell in love with Angela Pleasant. Um, and that's pretty much all he's got going on. He likes physical intimacy, but he dislikes discussing interests. 
He likes idealist sims. He dislikes homebodies. He likes red and gray, dislikes black and white. He likes fishing and fitness. He dislikes comedy and guitar. And he likes hip-hop music and S-pop music. And he dislikes classical and electronic. So that is Dustin's personality. Um, okay, so yeah, we'll have Brandy, as soon as she finishes this, uh, we'll have her take a pregnancy test just to make sure. And that will get the pregnancy started. Because she should be getting her first bump anyway. Angela Pleasant will be right over. Yep, there's Oldie. There's Coral Oldie. Oh, here's Angela. Uh, let's go greet her. Let's see. Invite in. <laughs> hey, Booger Sugar. Oh, who is that? Uh, there's Darren Dreamer. He's always jogging around. Who's that over there? That's Dina, I think. Um, okay, so now it's time to have your first kiss. Uh, romance, physical intimacy, first kiss. Here we go. Uh, Liz Speed says, do you usually pair Sims with the same Sims, or do you mix it up from time to time? I, when I first start out, I pair everybody the same, like I'm doing here, but then after that, I just leave it up to them. That Sim is irresistible. Dustin has a major crush on Angela. Aww, how cute. Okay, so they can just hang out now. Let's get back to Brandy. So, Brandy, let's, um... I can't take a pregnancy test? Why can I not take a pregnancy test? Pregnancy does not pause <clears throat> when playing another household on its own. Um, I use a mod, yes. She is pregnant. She definitely is. I know because I made her pregnant. Or maybe she already... Um, she definitely is. We're, it's going to spoil the gender, but I will check with MC Command Center. So we're about to find out the gender now. Um, yep, she's pregnant with a little girl. She's in her first trimester. So we're having a girl. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she already took one, yeah. Um, so I guess it just, I don't know why she can't take a test. Not Knuckles, at least. <laughs> Not Knuckles. It's going to be Betty. I'm going to name her Betty. After Brandy's mom. Little Betty. <laughs> I would recreate Strange Town. Yes, I would love to do that. I prefer, I do prefer Ple Pleasant View, but I would do either one. Uh, Dustin, you're hungry. Why don't you serve up this pizza? Um, get you some pizza, boy. You and uh, Angela can eat some pizza together. Humor and hijinks festival. I don't care about that. Get your pizza. Where are you going? Why didn't you get the pizza? Can they not? Can he not get it? I don't understand. I want the pizza! Uh. Maybe if we put it away? Here, let's have Brand let's have Brandy do it. Uh, call to meal. Come get pizza! They can't get it for some reason. Okay, let's, uh, try putting it away. And then maybe they can get it as leftovers? Oh, they just kissed. How cute. Yeah, it's a debug pizza. Can they not eat the debug pizzas? Get leftovers. No. Oh, Brandy's food preferences? They can only take slices. Okay, well, the pizza didn't work. So, Brandy's gonna serve some food. Um, she's gonna cook. What is she gonna cook today? Let's see. Yeah, they can't use the pizza, apparently. Yeah, it was a debug pizza. 
I just threw it in there at the last moment. So she's going to cook some... What would she cook for dinner? Um, Hamburger sliders. She's going to make hamburger sliders. She's going to make... um A family size will be good enough. Well, if they could have eaten the pizza, she wouldn't have cooked. But for some reason, they couldn't eat the pizza. So, I don't know. <laughs> so, she's going to make hamburgers for everybody. And let's check in on little Bo, too. Oh, he's hungry and he needs fun. We'll have him go over here and play um, with the blocks. And then, Dustin, what are you up to? Dustin wants to earn 100 simoleons. He, wants to, he needs to get a job. And he wants to enthuse about the thrill of the steel of the steel, but he needs to come and eat first. And then we need to get some food for Bo. So can I can he grab a serving? Alright, go grab a hamburger off the counter, kid. Let's see if he can get it. Can he reach it? Can he even reach it? Yeah, he did. He went and got it himself. I love that. I love that they can get it themselves. I am worried about uh, Brandy's pregnancy not progressing, though, y'all. I mean, maybe it's just too early. Oh, my God. The ghost of her husband is calling. Okay, that was weird. Oh, Bo is a messy eater. Her husband's ghost just calls. See, she doesn't have the pregnancy um, thing, either. So maybe she just doesn't realize she's pregnant yet? She's got to pee. Oh, go. Go. <laughs> the ghost of your husband is calling. Yeah, the pregnancy should last for three days. Um... So, I don't know. Um, what can I do? So, she doesn't have any flags, right? So, that should be... That should be mean that her pregnancy is progressing. So, I guess she just hasn't made it to that, that point yet. Gregnet! Yeah, I think you just have to wait 24 hours. Yeah, I think that's it. No, I don't think I have to unpause her pregnancy. I think that it's only paused for the non-playable families. Um, because she has no flags or anything. So I think we just have to wait. I think we just have to wait. Uh, Brandy's pregnancy, I don't think it needs to be fixed. I think it's fine. Uh, the pizza, I don't know how to fix that. Uh, thanks, Dina. Thanks for, thanks for thanking me for becoming, uh, friends with my child. <laughs> yeah, I believe Brandy's, Brandy's pregnancy is going to progress as expected. I think I just have to wait 24 hours because, like, she I just got her pregnant at the beginning of the save. Okay, Dustin, what are you doing? These two need to sneak out together tonight, too. We'll have him enthuse about... Oh, somebody needs to put the leftovers away. So, put, uh, put away... And then Dustin enthused about the thrill of the steel. Is that what you want to do? Maybe that's under interest. Yeah. I'll get used to the to the menus eventually, the chat menus. I'll I'll learn where everything is. Yeah, I do not think Brandy killed Skip. I do not. I don't think she would have done that. Especially not for life insurance, because she didn't get any money. They have no money. They're broke. <laughs> uh, who's that? Oh, that's the mail carrier. See? We got the same mail carriers. I love that. I think that's Jennifer Burb over there on the bicycle. There's uh, Mortimer Gauze. Okay, so yeah. Dustin and Angela are going to sneak out tonight. We're going to keep teaching Bo his skills. Our Brandy is. Oh, he's tired. We need to put him to bed. Thank you so much uh, for Rusty Slinky for the tier one sub. Thank you so much. So let's go ahead and uh, have Brandy 
Uh, put Bo to bed. Good night. Good night, little guy. Go sleepy sleep in your toddler bed. And then, Brandy, what do you want to do with yourself? She wants to watch a cooking show. Is that going to wake the baby up? Watch channel... See, they don't... She, she can't watch a cooking show because they don't have... They only have basic cable. She can't study fine art. She can chat with Nina, though. Let's uh, have her call Nina and chat. Wait, where am I going? There we go. Uh, chat... Oh, she was trying to read to him. No, don't read to him right now. And what is Dustin doing? He is blogging about nature. Wow. He also wants to get a job. So let's have him... Can I have him join a career from here? Maybe on his phone? Home shopping business. Uh, find a job. Because you know Dustin, he's enterprising. He wants to earn some money. Hello, that guy, crazy bro. Okay, so he is going to... I think manual labor would be good for him, but what else? What all could we have him do? Manual labor, like fast food. Manual labor, he's a lot... He can be a lawnmower. I think that's a good job for him. He'll work 7 to 12 on uh, Saturdays and Sundays, being a lawnmower for 49 bucks an hour. I think he'll be a lawnmower. Yeah. Okay, so now he's got a job as well. Since he can't be in the criminal career part-time. Poorly written blog post. Oh, Dustin, you sucked it up. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah. We already looked at him. And what is he doing now? He's talking to his mom. He's chatting with Brandy. And he's getting pretty tired. It's like 9.30 at night and he needs to go to sleep because he's got to sneak out. So he's going to go ahead and go to sleep now so he can sneak out a little bit like at 2 a.m. in the morning. 2 a.m. in the morning? That was redundant. You know what I'm saying. Um, Tip the witch the way I look at The Sims 2. So if you go into The Sims 2, you can use Sim Blender to find out what their hobbies are. I don't have a list anywhere. But if you just... Like, use Simblender to teleport them to a lot. And then you go into traits, hobby, the one true hobby. And it will show you what their hobby is, whichever one's grayed out. That's how I went and looked at what everybody's hobby was. If I didn't know. Some of them I already knew. I mean, I already knew the all the playables. But that's how I did it for uh, the townies and stuff. When I needed to figure out their personalities. Yeah, and which do you need to know right now? Yeah, we could tell you. If you ask in chat. Um, yes, I have the high school pack. Yeah. Oh, is, is it a special window that they need to sneak in and out? Oops, I don't want to do that. They need a special sneak out window? Hold on, I gotta see this. Um. Uh, I don't have horse ranch. What is... Where is it? Where is it? High school years. The easy exit window. Yes, we need to get that. Um, Can they afford it? That's only 45 simoleons. Does it, can it be behind his bed? No, it can't. Okay, undo. Um... We can put it in the front. Alright, hold on. Can we put it in the front? Yeah. Oh, object. It cannot function there. Okay, it can't go there. Maybe it can go here? No. Where can we put it? Dang! It doesn't work with foundations. Oh. Because he can't go. Okay, I see. Who's that? Uh, well, never mind. He's not going to sneak out the window. He's just going to go out. That's Dagmar Bertino. Um, he's just going to go out. We can't do the window in the trailer, unfortunately. Uh, all right, Brandy. You, did you ever, she didn't chat with Nina? Chat with Nina. Get off the computer and go chat with Nina. 
Does that not count? Does she have to chat with her in person? Oh, I guess she has to chat with her in person for that to count. Oh, it's still next to Brandy's bed. Oops. Thank you. Uh, then, Brandy, I'm gonna go... You need to just go ahead and go to bed, too. Everybody just go to bed. And let me save here. And we gotta wait at least for Brandy's baby bump to pop. At least. So I can just make sure that her pregnancy is working. But it should be. There's a hydrate for you, that, that guy crazy bro. Brandy's like, why did you buy a window, Dustin? I need this special window so I can sneak out, Mom. <laughs> oh, is there a ladder that comes with it? Okay, I didn't know that. Uh... Is, is there a ladder that works with it? A stair? I mean, I guess I could do a stair, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. They're just going to go out. When I used to sneak out of a trailer window, I just put a chair underneath the window and jumped down into it. <laughs> when I was a teenager. That's what we did. Just drug an old chair out of the woods. Oh, ladders work for the second story. Oh, yes, yes, we need the bulletin board for a curfew. Yes, great idea. So let's, um, bulletin board. The family bulletin board. Let's put this here. Um, I don't know where, I guess right there. And yes, let's set curfews. And I want to add curfews to my gameplay rules, too. Curfew. Set curfew. Um, for Dustin, we'll set it for 11 p.m. So she has to actually get up and go set it. Go set it. Okay, curfew is set. She's going to sleep. And now it's almost time for Dustin to sneak out, so he's going to go ahead and wake up now. And then, how can we get him to go out with Angela? We could just do travel, I guess? Travel with? Um, I think they would go to the park, don't you? Wait, do I get to ch choose who goes? Uh, Angela Pleasant. He and Angela are going to go to the park late at night? Yes. It's gonna say she's asleep. Dang it. No, she's here. She's here. I think parenthood and growing together should have been one pack. Yeah, I do. But I'm glad that we got the stuff, even if it was later. Okay, so here they are. He wants to become disliked by Daniel. You already are disliked by Daniel. Brew an herbal remedy, get a promotion, and play chess. Hey, he's at the park. They want to play chess at the park at night. Okay, great. Uh, breaks curfew. Play together. All right, break that curfew. <laughs> you only snuck out one time in your early 20s? Oh my god, I snuck out all the time when I was a teenager. He acquired the logic skill. That's helpful. Uh -huh. Um, so he's, he's crushing, oh, he's crushing it. He's nervous because he's crushing on her. But he still has his happiness from his first kiss. Yeah, playing chess is what the kids are calling it now, yeah. Okay, he, you played chess with Angela in the park at night. Oh, he wants to have a picnic. Um, I don't know how we're supposed to have a picnic. We need a picnic basket for that? You can't spend any money. There's nothing more fun than sneaking out as a teenager, I know. I'm just gonna let them play. Oh, it's almost Bo's birthday. That's great. That's gonna be fun when Bo ages up. So we're pretty much in the broke family until Bo ages up. And I used to stay until Brandy had her baby, but I think it's gonna take a lot of time. So I don't know if we're gonna stay that long. Um, will I ever go back to streaming for three hours instead of two? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to build up to it. 
Like, I've already been streaming now for like two hours and 15 minutes, so we're getting closer. <laughs> um, I lost my streaming stamina. And it's like, it was hard for me to talk for three hours straight. Oh, very flirty. They're doing ho- you're doing homework, Dustin? How lame. Seriously? You snuck out to do homework? He wants to check her mate, if you know what I mean. Oh, good one. Dustin can't stop laughing. That joke Angela just told him was way too good. After being dazzled by that marvelous bit of humor, Dustin's thinking about jokes and how great they can be for a conversation. Uh, he likes jokes. Yeah, he likes jokes. Who's that? Pal Melon, he's everywhere! Why is Pal Melon everywhere we go? I feel like he's stalking us. Uh, I don't think there's really any other of his things that we can fulfill, so I'm just gonna let him do what he wants. Hey, your girlfriend is very flirty beside you and you're doing homework, I know. I know. Listen to Angela complain. She's probably complaining that you're doing your homework. She's like, pay attention to me. Stop doing homework. We're, we're out at the park on our own at 3 a.m. Pal be like, love me, Cindy. I do love you, pal. I do. Okay, Angela's just running off somewhere. Like, where is she going? Let's follow her. Angela, where are you going? Out here alone at the dead of night? L Luckily, there's no crime in Pleasant View whatsoever. Is she going to go grill or something? I think she's going to go grill. Oh my god, way to way to draw attention to the teenagers sneaking out in the middle of the night is to go grill food at the park. Wow. Did you remove pregnancy freezing aging in Sims 4? Um uh, I don't know what that means. I use MC Command Center to Oh yeah, 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 yes, yes. I did turn off the way that pregnancy freezes aging. Yes, yes, I got you. Yeah, I did do that. Um, I've only been streaming in an- I've been streaming an hour and 31 minutes on this stream. I had to restart the stream. So I streamed 45 minutes in the first stream and then an hour and 30 on this one. Yeah, I had to restart the stream because I was dropping frames really bad. But this second stream has been great! I know how mad can Brandy be if he finishes his homework. He's gonna have to go soon. Um, he's not even hungry. I guess eat some of her food. A sleepover sounds great. I mean, you guys are kind of already having a park sleepover. And you gotta go to school tomorrow. Oh my god. Eat your food and you gotta go home before Brandy wakes up. Okay? Um, he's gotta go, Angela. I'm sorry. He's gotta go. After he eats. They had a fun night, I guess. They didn't really do anything flirty. They grilled and played chess and did homework. That was like the most the most wholesome thing Dustin's ever done. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't forget your homework. Don't forget your homework. Thank you. Bye, Angela. Thank you for the grilled food and the game of chess. I'm headed home. <laughs> yes, I do have teen woohoo on, yeah. They can woohoo. But I don't I don't do teen pregnancies though. In my games. They didn't even touch, I know. He didn't make sure she got home okay. No, he just left. He's like, bye. I'm out. Wait, what are you doing? Chat with Randy? No, go home. Don't chat with Randy. Man. <laughs> He's such a loser. I love him. Is Brandy awake? Where's Brandy? Brandy's getting in the pool? Oh my god. Okay, Dustin. You just need to go in and go to sleep. You gotta go to school very soon. I don't know why Brandy's getting in the pool, y'all. Uh, you need to go back to sleep. And Brandy... I don't know. Yes. I don't know why there's so many... Uh, she's swimming at... Th she just needed to take a dip. I don't know what to say. Um, I'm actually gonna have her come and take a bath. She wants to join Skip. No! Yeah, being in the pool reminds her of her husband. That must be what it is. <laughs> She's honoring her dead husband. Oh, last exception again. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm just waiting on that pregnancy. Come on, Brandy. Can she take a pregnancy test now? No. 
I am getting a little worried about this. Ignore bills. She wants to ignore her bills. She wants to admire her possessions and study culinary arts at the university. Um, I don't think you have any possessions that you can admire anymore. Can you admire that? Oh yeah, she can admire that one. Go admire your bulletin board you got. Brandy's materialistic. Yeah. And uh, perform an odd job. No, you can't. You're getting, you're getting uh, benefits. So I guess, are, are, is anybody hungry? Not really. Dustin, nope, he's not hungry. The kid's a little bit hungry. But I was going to have Brandy. I guess I'll have Brandy cook breakfast. Why not? Uh, let's have her cook. Oh, Dustin, you got to get up for school. Golden eggs and toast. Go ahead and make golden eggs and toast. Dustin, you got to get up. I know you were out all night, but school starts in an hour. So get in here and use the bathroom. Um, yeah, if your bartenders don't show up, it's because you you need to assign some with NPCC, and even then it might still not work. You might have to take NPCC out. I'm hoping it works. I haven't had anybody go to the bar yet in Pleasant View, so I'm hoping it's going to work in Pleasant View. Buy a vault. I don't think we need a vault in the broke household, okay? I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, Dustin's getting ready for school. Let's have him uh, freshen up. No, get in here and freshen up. He wants to chat with Angela, earn a thousand simoleons, and buy a vault, which we are not going to do. And Brandy still wants to, she wants to ignore her bills. That's cool, I guess. I need to check on Brandy's uh, property taxes and stuff. I don't know why I'm clicking there. Uh, let's check. So her bills, um, she's got four weeks until her property tax of 752 is done. So, and she's got 341 simoleons in utility bills, but she doesn't have any yet. You want to play Sims 2 again, but going to different lots and that time thing annoys me. Any tips? Um, I just use the community time mod. So that fixes that. You have a sim about to go to class. Would you care to join him? Or... Right now, I'm going to send Dustin alone. Later, when we get to the rounds, then I'm going to go play high school with him. And, and I also need to create the teachers and stuff. So right now, I'm just going to send him alone. We're not going to play that right now. Community time project mod, yes. Oh, yeah, I don't want to put her in labor, though, yet, Kay James. I don't want to put her in labor yet, but she should be going. Why is she glowing? From, oh, oh, she ate golden, oh, golden egg, that's what that is? Oh, jeez, I wouldn't have cooked that if I would have known that. I didn't mean to cook golden eggs, golden eggs. Um... I can put her in first trimester. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, I think she would be going into first prim trimester, but let me see. Can I do pregnancy phase? She's already pregnancy, pregnant, not showing. So she is pregnant. She's pregnant, not showing. So doesn't that mean it says trimester one? Um, she has that pregnancy glow already. So yeah, see, her pregnancy's not paused. Um, we're just, we just need to wait. I just think she hasn't reached the showing part yet. Maybe I should, let's just wait a little bit longer and see. Um, uh, she, I think she'll get first trimester soon. Wait, is she, wait, she it already is. Wait. She's got a baby bump. Did you see that? She just doesn't... Yes! She got it. A child on the way. It happened. We just didn't get a pop-up for it. But yeah, so if you play this same file, she is pregnant and she will be pregnant. Yeah. She just got it. Uh, we didn't get a, a little pop-up for it, but yeah. 
She is. Uh, yes, I am playing with high school years, yes. If you don't do tests, it's four days because it's 24 hours before she they find out, yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe you- do you not get a notification if they don't take a test? I thought you still got, got one when they realized they were pregnant. Is that only in Sims 2? Anyway, she's got a child on the way. But I think- okay, so Bo- when is Bo gonna age up? Let's see. We gotta wait for Bo to age up and then we can move on from this family. Let's see. Uh, he's gonna age up in one day. So we'll play until Bo ages up. Yeah, the pregnancy's working, but it's slightly bugged where we didn't have the option for the test. Yeah. Tip the Witch says, I think there used to be a notification, but I've noticed it hasn't been happening lately. Hmm, that's too bad. Brandy was in denial, yeah. So she, Brandy is taking a nap. She's super tired when she found out she was pregnant. We gotta take care. Okay, Bo is hungry, so we gotta get him some food. Oh, thank you about scholarships. Thank you for letting me know about scholarships. Um, Brandy, let's get... What does she want to do? Tuck in. Aw. Let's... Um, get some leftovers out. So we can feed the baby. Okay, no, you don't eat those. Those are for the baby. You don't eat those. Wake Bo up. Um, and he needs to eat and then we need to potty train him. So have him, no, not clean up. Eat eggs and toast. Quit eating the eggs and toast, Brandy. Quit eating the eggs and toast. Those are for the baby. Um, you can just, I don't know, go to the bath. Go pee like a champion. Uh, have you thought about partnering with Instant Gaming? You can have your own code. And for example, if I want to buy EP or GP or SP, you get a percentage. Um, I actually do have a referral. Or I used to have a referral code for them, but I don't know. It's just, uh, I don't know why I didn't continue <laughs> with that. I used to have one. But not a lot of people use instant gaming, I guess. I guess it wasn't very, it wasn't very lucrative to me. Okay, so he, did he, is he eating? Oh, he's gonna eat his food and then we'll potty train him. As for Brandy, um, she's actually doing okay with her pregnancy so far. I wish she would stop glowing. I hate the glowing. I'm never making the golden eggs again. It's annoying. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know what my link is, though. I don't know what my instant gaming link is. But thank you so much for offering. A special eating for two notification when they go into the first trimester. Yes, that's right. And she didn't get it. How can I turn off the gold sparkle? Um, can I do it with MC Command Center? The broke family is shining through. She's very playful here. I can't really, uh, I can't really satisfy any of her wants right now, so I'm just gonna let her do whatever she wants. Um, she does have an arts and crafts hobby, but I guess there's not really, I could buy her, uh, an easel or something, but that's gonna take up too much of their money. So she's gonna have to kind of hang out right now, Brandy, I'm sorry. As for Bo, he wants to ask Brandy for diaper and hug Brandy. Oh no, did he go, oh, he went potty. He went potty! So, let's have him ask help for diaper. Okay. Ask Brady for a diaper. Um, I don't think I'll send Brady to university, no. She's gonna stay broke. <laughs> She's gonna take care of her kids. Oh, is it a buff? The golden thing is a buff? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, get rid of that. But she's still glowing for some reason. It didn't work. 
She can attend class. Oh, there it went away. It just took a minute. She can attend classes. And I don't know. Maybe I will. I haven't decided yet. Throw that away. And then he wants to hug Brandy. Aw. Let's go hug. A friendly affection hug. Aw. So cute. <laughs> Uh, can you buy me a little campers kit? Yeah, I'd love it. <laughs> I would love it. Dustin, oh, hey, listen, we need a place to stay for a little while. You can accommodate us, right? What? We need a place to stay for a little while? What does that mean? Oh, you don't get the notification if you set the pregnancy yourself, young Steph says. So that must be it. Uh, the whole family will show up? Yeah, no. If the whole family shows up, no, we cannot accommodate them. We cannot accommodate- I'm sorry, we cannot accommodate you in our trailer. Sorry. Uh, okay. Dustin's gonna be like, no, there's no way my mom would allow that. <laughs> if it was just her, I think Brandy would say yes, but I'm worried about if the whole family shows up, like, no. I feel like Brandy would be the kind of mom that would be like, yeah, your girlfriend can stay over. <laughs> Dustin and Brandy going to college. Oh, it's not the whole family, Simmy mom? Dang, I would have said yes. Ah. Oh. Okay, well, now I know. Not all the pleasants. Or let's check in on our... Everybody's doing okay here. Oh, let's have her teach him more stuff. Um, so let's teach, give a talking to. Parenting. Um, did we teach, what is it, under actions? No. Friendly. Clean, clean, oh, let's finish teaching to talk. Clean him with a vacuum. I should have had her stay. Oh, you always get the whole family? Yeah, you're right. Daniel and Mary Sue would probably never allow Angela to spend the night at the Brooks. You're probably right about that. So I don't feel so bad. Um, If you buy it in the code, is the code going to be valid? Um, Don't send it to me on Instagram because I never check my Instagram. Email it to me. I think the code will still be valid. I don't know. But you could email it to me at pleasantsims at gmail.com. Because I never go on Instagram, hardly. I mean, if you have to do it on Instagram, I, I, I might miss it because I never check my messages there. <laughs> Thank you. That's very sweet of you. She reached level three parenting skill. Who's here? Coral? Is she visiting? Hello, Coral. Okay. You want to come over and visit? That's cool. I don't think Brandy knows her. Oh, she does. She's friends with Coral? When did that happen? They must have met somewhere. Uh, Brandy, come let Coral in. She's outside in the rain. Oh my gosh, Brandy's friends with Coral. Yeah, I use a mod, Tip the Witch. It's the Hopes and Fears mod. Yeah. Okay, Dustin is back from school. He swiped another object. Of course he did. What is he- okay, we need to take care of his hygiene, and then he also is gonna have to take a nap, because he's exhausted. He wants to identify a wild plant, earn 100 simoleons. Does he have work to- no, he has work on Saturday and Sunday. There goes Mary Sue Pleasant walking by. Uh, but yeah, I didn't realize uh, Brandy and Coral were friends, so that's cool. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Coral was fr Coral must have been friends with Betty. And that's why she's known- Yeah, she I bet she's known Brandy her whole life. I bet you're right. She was probably friends with Betty Newby. Yeah, and oh, isn't that sweet? Coral comes over to check on Brandy and the kids. Who are you? What? Mortimer Goth, what the hell are you wearing? Oh my god, why are you wearing that? Do, do I not have, like, that must be a situational uh, outfit that I didn't have set for some reason. Because that is ridiculous. What the hell was he wearing? I think that's one of those weird situation outfits. 
I don't know. I, I don't know why he would wear that. Hello, fellow youths. <laughs> yes, look at him. Oh, here comes Dawn. Uh, here's little Chandler Platts. He's hip with the kids. He's hip to the, to the, I don't know. I don't know what I was trying to say. Sometimes they just wear random clothes. I think it's these situational outfits, which I thought I had them all turned off. Okay, Dustin is taking his bath. Then he needs to have fun. So I don't know what to tell you to do to have fun. What can you do for your nature hobby? Um, will it, will he get, will he get fun from coming over here and, uh, harvesting plants and shit? I don't know. He can only uproot them. I, you know what? Just play on your, wait, what does he like to do? What are your likes again? I forgot. He likes, uh, fitness and fishing. Oh, he likes fishing. Okay. Uh, he can go back here and fish, I think. No, not travel. Can't he fish? Oh, you gotta go where there's a sign. Go. He's gonna go fishing in the rain for fun. And then Brandy, okay, you are tired. So why don't you go take a nap? And then let's check in on Bo. He's actually doing okay. Let's have him play with his blocks. Stack his blocks. A sign of Mortimer we never knew. Yes, pleasantsims at gmail.com. Yes. That's it. Thank you. Okay, so we're just waiting around at this point for a Bo. Bo is tomorrow is Bo's birthday. Um, and then we will be done with this family. So I'll go ahead and wait for that before I end the stream. Oh, Coral's coming back in. Brandy, what are you doing? Brandy, I thought I told you to go to sleep. Where were they? I don't even know where they were. Brandy's gotta go take a nap. I guess Coral's gonna stay here and watch over Bo. And then let's go check in on Dustin. He is super exhausted, but he's getting a lot of fun from fishing. It's one of his preferred hobbies. Your dog's mad because you put PJs on her? <laughs> I, I can see that. Okay, he's gotta go home now. Uh, go home and you gotta go home and take a nap. He's exhausted because he stayed up all night in the park last night. Dustin, what are you doing? Go. What are you doing? What you are you that dumb? You're like, I can't get past these bushes. <laughs> Brandy bought something worth 10 simoleons. I wonder what she did. What could she have bought? Brandy. I don't know what she maybe she was grilling somewhere? I don't know. Hey Swedish meatball. <laughs> Yeah, so we're just waiting around right now for Bo to age up. And for Brandy. So Brandy is in, um, she's, the second trimester's in 15 hours. So I don't think I'm going to wait around for the baby to be born yet. But I am going to wait for Bo to age up. Or maybe we'll, we will play her until the baby's born um, next time. So the other families are not aging while I'm playing this family. So we don't have to worry about that. Okay, Dustin, oh my gosh, what are you doing? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. You're exhausted. We could push her into labor. That's true. So in The Sims 2, do you guys remember? Does she have the baby before Bo ages up or after? Who remembers? Oh, she was invited to a rabbit hole activity? Oh, is that where they went? Same day? Same day. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll put her into labor in the morning. Uh, and then we'll have Bo's birthday. Like, just before. Okay, that's what we'll do. We'll put her into labor in the morning. And then we'll have Bo's birthday party. And then we'll be done with this family. Just before. Okay. Oh, look at little Bo. Oh, he's sad. He needs to go to sleep. He needs to go to sleep. He's tired, Coral. Okay. Oh, he can talk. He just learned to talk. Oh, yay. Okay, bye, Coral. Thanks for- Coral's so sweet. She stayed here to watch Bo until he went to sleep while Brandy slept. Coral's so sweet. She's like the neighborhood grandmother. Oh my god, Dina's coming over now. Uh, Brandy's rested enough. She can wake up and, and see Dina. Share big news. Tell Dina you're pregnant. 
Dina, look at me! I got a baby bump! Grandma Coral. Um, so she wants to research cooking techniques, host a toddler play date, and buy a vault. There aren't any other toddlers, so there's not really a toddler play date we can do right now. She's uncomfortable. She's got morning sickness. We could research cooking techniques on the computer, but right now you have company. Uh, come in and sit down since you're uncomfortable. And Dana can come in and chat with you. Did you not invite her in? Is it talking to her inviting her in? I don't know. I don't know why she's not coming in. Uh-oh, Brandy's gotta go throw up. Ooh, ooh, oh boy. Dina's gonna come in there and be like, I support you as you vomit. <laughs> I would not wanna watch my friend throw up, but okay. Uh, no, their ages don't go out of sync. The other families don't age. Um, but this is how I always do it when I play The Sims 2, so it's fine if it's a little bit out. So, the other families don't age, so what I will do is see, it's Tuesday at 8.22pm, so when I quit playing them, it'll be on Wednesday. So then when I come back around, I'll play everybody until Thursday. I also, don't worry, I sync up all, their all the time and everything. Or Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, actually, I'll play everybody through Wednesday. So we probably won't even play the Brokes. Maybe we'll do five-day rounds. Yeah. Maybe we'll do five day that way we can get to play them one more time on the on the rounds because we're basically playing their full round now okay now she's happy about her child on the way um they're standing in here over this pukey toilet yes please clean it please clean it brandy oh dina's gonna help her clean how sweet dina was like this place is disgusting clean it up girl jeez <laughs> Dina came to ask Brandy for advice on luxury purchases. She's focused. Um, I don't want to have her go research cooking techniques. She needs to go to the bathroom. Because she's got a guest. Excuse me, Dina. Gotta use the shitter. I know Dina with a mop. That's shocking. I know. Dina really cares. She really cares. Okay, let's go get some uh, left. I think we still have some leftovers. Hamburgers or something in here. I know, nothing like chit chat in the bathroom. Oh, she's going to eat the eggs. Dang it. I got to get rid of the golden egg thing. I can't stand it. She is. She does still have morning sickness, but she's happy that a child is on the way. <laughs> A true friend. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah, Dina's like, you should marry someone rich so you can have somebody do this for you. <laughs> Some of the best moments in The Sims happens in the bathroom, I know. <laughs> okay, come on. We gotta get through the night. Alright, let's get rid of this glowing crap. I can't stand that. I never have her cook that again. Um, all right. Sorry, Dina. Brandy's got to go to bed. So, um, nice seeing you. Thanks a lot for the, for stopping by, but Brandy's going to bed. We got to get through the night because tomorrow we're having a baby and Bo is aging up. <laughs> and in the yard. Yes. And in the yard where all of our Sims get married in the yard. <laughs> oh, and let me save too. I want to save our progress that we've made so far. I mean, yeah, I've had a lot of conversations in the bathroom myself. No, Dina, go away! Would you? She just came back? Like, what the heck? You woke up the baby. Aw, he's sad because he's dirty. Okay, Brandy. Brandy's got to get up. It's 12.30 in the morning and go give Bo a bath. Oh, no. Dustin, Dustin's about to pee his pants. Hold on, hold on. Oh. New family dynamics strict. When it comes to Brandy and Bo, a sense of order seems to abound, as the younger Sim is a deep respect for their older family member, often meeting the older Sim's high expectations. For family members with a strict family dynamic, the older Sim will ask the younger Sim to do things like cleaning more, and the younger Sim will generally avoid rebelling. Um, okay. Yeah. She's got a strict family dynamic here. But don't go to the bath. Don't go give him a bath yet. 
Because Dustin's got to go use the bathroom really fast. Hold on. And then he's got to go eat. Uh, and then Brandy, now you can give Bo a bath. Okay. <laughs> we only have one bathroom. Got to share resources here. I know Brandy being strict is perfect, especially with Bo, I think, because I think she probably realizes with Dustin, you know, she made a lot of mistakes with Dustin, and she's like, I'm not, you're not going to end up the same way as your brother. <laughs> Avoiding rebelling sounds good. Where's that option for your kid? Oh, he's so cute in the tub. Look how cute. <laughs> I can't wait to see him age up. Aww. Um, hopefully he's cute. He is genetically correct of his parents, so he should be cute. And Dustin, what are- oh, oh, I would like to adult now. Um, okay, let's see. So I'm gonna go to random.org and roll for this. So I roll 1 through 100 to choose- whenever I have these choices, I roll 1 through 100. If it's 50 or under, I choose the first one. And if it's 51 or above, I choose the second. And I rolled 16. So you'll always be my baby. I can't treat you like an adult. Empathy increases, responsibility decreases. <laughs> Sounds right. Oh no, she's puking again! Oh, Brandy, I'm so sorry. I would like to adult. Okay, now you gotta clean this. You gotta clean this. Uh, polish to perfection. Dustin, you're good. I think I'm gonna have Dustin go back to sleep for a couple hours. And today is Bo's birthday. So what we're gonna do, Dustin's gonna go to sleep for a couple hours. Brandy's gonna, gonna finish polishing the turlet. And then she's, let me take care of the baby. Oh, he's hungry. So let's get him some food out. Um... A high chair is required. Dang it. Um, Brandy has enjoyed cleaning and doing household chores recently. There's a sparkle of joy when things are neat. Yeah, she's neat now. Yes, I love that. Yes. She's turned neat. She's like, she used to be, a, she used to be messy and slobby, but now she's neat. She changed her mind. Uh... So let's, let's see. We have spoiled food here, so I think we're going to have to cook something else. Or can we get a snack for the kid? Um, you know what? Let's just buy a high chair. Screw it. We're going to buy a high chair because I like, um, I like the high chair interactions. So high chair. Buy a little high chair for Bo. Even though he's about to age up, we're going to do this first. Um, let's see. Give food to Bo. And we'll give him some, how about a ham and cheese sandwich at 2.26 a.m.? That's what the kid needs. Come on, give him his food. There you go. Bueno, bueno. <laughs> Aww, it's so cute. And he wants to be friendly with Brandy and sit on a chair. And what does Brandy want to do? Buy a dishwasher. Well, we cannot afford that. Ignore bills and study culinary arts. We can't really do any of those, Brandy. I'm sorry. <laughs> and let's see. Dustin's still sleeping. So very soon we're going to put Brandy in labor. I mean, I guess we could go ahead and do it now. I'll wait till the break of dawn. Wait till Bo finishes eating. Alright, let's take Bo out of the high chair. Clean this up. Get everything in order for Brandy to have the baby. Uh-oh, there's trash on the floor. Oh, the parenthood dishwasher's only 150? Uh, uh... I think I'll wait until she gets her welfare before I buy it. Um, just to make sure. Why's her picture of fruit on there? <laughs> just to make sure that they have enough to pay their bills. Okay, so Brandy is getting ready to have her babby. I guess I'm going to go ahead and do it. Why not? We don't really have anything else um, to do. 
So pregnancy phase in labor. Here comes the baby. She's about to have, she's gone into labor. She's about to have little Betty. Little Betty. Um, and she have baby. Brandy requires an empty bassinet. Oh, let's get an empty bassinet. Or I'm just going to wait until she has it on her own. So I don't have to buy it. Thank you so much, Kai Blue Angel, for the three-month Prime sub. She's in labor and she's like, I need to clean this turlet. I need to clean- Yeah, bending over put her in labor. I think so. Oh my gosh, Brandy. She's like cleaning the house in labor. Um... So shouldn't she- Won't she just do it on her own? Like, won't she just have the baby on her own and it shows up in a bassinet? Can't have the baby. No, she's not going to go to the hospital. She's going to have the baby right here. In three hours? Oh, okay. Alright, she's just going to clean her way through the labor. That's what she does to deal with the pain. Yeah, I thought they just would have it on their own and you didn't have to buy it. I mean, you can buy a bassinet and they can have it instantly or you can wait. And then you don't have to buy the bassinet and you get it for free. And she doesn't have a lot of money, so I'd rather have her get it for free. Bo is making a mess. We have to go put a stop to that. Um, We are going to... Discipline... Calmly discipline ask not to make a mess. Please don't make a mess, okay? Whoa. Now I gotta clean that up while I'm in labor. <laughs> yes, Brandy cleaning up her home while in labor. And Bo's like, I have to create a masterpiece for my new sibling. <laughs> Once the mood lit expires with bassinet. Oh, two hours, I see. Yeah, we've got two hours left. Um, okay, she's just gonna do her thing. Go mop this up, I guess. Dustin's waking up now. So it's actually good that we put her in labor when we did, because it gave us time. Oh, he wants to chat with Gordon, his friend. He, I did make him friends with uh, Gordon King. So yeah, he wants to chat with him. Bad compatibility. Good compatibility with Lilith. Good compa compatibility with Angela. Oh, Bo, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's exhausted. He needs to go sleep. Can you go upstairs? Oh my god. Oh, look, Dustin helping out with the chores. How nice, Dustin. That's very nice of you. He's doing the dishes. He cleaned out the fridge for his mom. He is uncomfortable from his shitty cheap bed, though. Okay, and Brandy's still... She's just... She's eating some toast. She's eating some food. We've got, like, uh, 37 minutes left. Till she goes into- Till she has the baby. Bo is sleeping. Dustin's staying with his mom. He's so sweet. He's staying with his mom, even though he's got a sore back. What does he want to do? Enter crops in Finwich, Finchwick, Finchwick Fair. Enthuse about the thrill of the steel. Uh, we can do that. He's like, Mom, I love to steal stuff. I don't know what to tell you. It's thrilling. <laughs> In one of your Pleasant View Sims 4 saves, Lucy Burb got married to Gordon King. Oh my god. Gordon King stole Nita's hot tub in your game? Oh no, she cried for days. Yeah, Gordon's a, Gordon's a right bastard. Okay, a baby's on the way. Social services gave her a crib. Here's our little baby. She's gl she's gl glowing, glowing, uh, whatever I'm trying to say. Glowing golden. Golden glow, baby. <laughs> Yay. Come on. Come on, Brandy. Yay. It's a baby girl. And of course, which we already knew, unfortunately. But we are going to call her little, ba little Betty. She's named after her grandma. Little Betty broke. Oh, there she is. Yay. Um, I'm feeling much better. Oh, screenshot. We'll get a screenshot of the new Babby. Let me get rid of her stupid glow. Um, I like the whims 
the whims are like working pretty well for me right now because I use the, I think it's, I think they've been much improved by the mods I'm using, by the Hope and Fears mod mostly. Um, so yeah, I actually am having a pretty good time with it. I'm actually enjoying Sims 4 right now. Eggity. Eggity. Betty Golden. I don't know. I was trying to think of a, of a name. That, Betty Golda Broke. That's her name. Okay, hold on. I want to get rid of the glow. The golden glow. Get rid of your glow! And then get over here and uh, cuddle the baby so I can take a screenshot of you. Brady, Brandy will soon have her period. We need to get her some tampons and stuff. Aw, look how cute! Aw, screenshot. The look on her face is so cute. Okay, we need to get her um, some... We need to order her some... Things. She needs some things! Can I order that? Do I have to go to the store? Purchase wonderful items. There we go. Uh, let's get a tampons and pads box. I'll have to give them both. Okay. So, and let me just check her. Uh, she still would be happy to have a child, so she's good to go. She's not going on birth control or anything. Uh, but she did order some tampons and pads, so we have to keep an eye out for those. Oh, there goes Dawn in his work outfit. Look. Uh, thank you so much, Batty Brando, for the two-month Prime sub. Thank you. Aw. Um, you have a sim about to go to class. Um, I'm gonna send him alone for now. Um, uh, because we're not- we're gonna- we are gonna play with the high school, but I need some more time to get that set up. So Dustin's off to school. He's got a sore back from his crappy bed. And little Bo is asleep, but he's going to be aging up soon. So we need to make him a birthday cake. And also we need to move the, um, let's have Brandy feed the baby. Um, baby care, feed. Feed the baby. No, no, where are you going? Where are you going, Brandy? She's going to take a nap. Okay, whatever. Uh. I'm going to move the baby out of the kitchen and into Brandy's room. All right. There's little Betty. Oh, she gained a sentiment with the baby? Aww. Whole heart. Adoring sentiment. What a bliss this new baby brings to Brandy's life. It's her first daughter. Loved a child. Aw, Brandy is so happy to have welcomed Betty into the world and be able to hold her clothes. Aw. Okay. So all we have to do now is once uh, Brandy finishes taking her, her nap, then she's going to make a birthday cake for Beau. And hey, whoever asked me for streaming three hours today, I streamed for three hours. I've already been streaming for three hours. Wow. Uh, I did, well, yeah, because I started at noon and it's three o'clock. Today's mail has been delivered. Okay, hopefully she got her, uh, stuff. But she needs to take care of the baby. Hold on, let's, oh my gosh, why did they move it here? Change a dirty diaper and then, uh, feed, let's go ahead and feed the baby. And then let's go check the mail. And then let's make a birthday cake. That's what's on the agenda. Angela, you should be at school. Why are, what are you walking around? Why are you skipping school, Angela? Why are you skipping school? Oh, spring equinox starts tomorrow. We've got a holiday coming up. For whichever family. We're not going to be in this family. Uh, we're going to be in the Dreamers, actually. How long is she a baby? I think it's three, two or three days. <laughs> Uh, oh, the cake box that you can directly buy. I like for them to make it. <laughs> Although maybe I should, maybe that would be good for some Sims, you know, who wouldn't cook. I feel like Brandy would make it. Prepare for the hell that is caring for infants. It's like in real life, though. Okay. Uh, Brandy's collected everything from the mailbox. And now we're going to go. Uh, oh, let's see what she got. Hold on. Did she get what she ordered? Yeah. 
Um, we're going to open this box and we're going to unpack the box so she has pads and tampons for her period. And then she got Betty's baby print. Let's put that on the wall. I definitely think Brandy would be the type of person to put that on the wall. So we'll put it right there. Aww. And now, she is super tired. She was trying to go take a nap again, but we're going to make a birthday cake instead. Oh, uh, we're going to bake. Oh, is it not under baking? Why would it not be under baking? Seriously. Cooking, I guess? Is it under cooking? I feel like it should be under baking. We're going to do a chocolate cake. Oh, and also I need to spend some time on the Pleasant View grocery store because um, it's pretty barren right now because I just made it, you know, with this in-game stuff and I didn't make it with mods and stuff. So I need to work on the grocery store as well. And I'll probably do that in my free time. <laughs> we cook a cake in The Sims 4. I feel, somebody, sh I, I swear somebody should have made a mod to fix that. Oh, there's a mod that puts baking recipes under baking. I figured. Yeah. So we're going to bake the birthday cake. Come on. It's done now. Let's uh, add birthday candles. Okay. Skip broke. Okay. Cool. Thanks, ghost of my dead husband. And then we're going to... Now, if I click on her, it's going to let me choose who to age up, right? Candles help. I'm going to save right before I do this. Uh, I have the Seriously Sims cooking overhaul. I have that. So why, I wonder why it's not fixed for me. Um, okay, let's blow out candles. No, not you! I knew that was going to happen. Help blow out candles. Okay. Jesus. Hopefully that... No, 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 Brandy, no! Good thing I saved. No, Brandy! No! Oh my god! No! <laughs> don't look! Don't look! Good thing I just saved. Exit to main menu. That's why I saved. I knew that was going to happen. I was like, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel right. Okay, I just saved though. That birth aged her. Okay, we'll go right back in. Hey man, the stream has held up this entire two hours. I am so happy. Uh... When you tried playing along with me, you weren't able to go back in time to Sunday when I went to my next house in rotation. Um, I just, I don't worry about the days, Callista. I just play them for like four or five days each. I just play them the same amount of days. I don't worry about what actual day it is. Their ages stay in sync, but I don't really know any other way to correct that. So it just, it doesn't bother me. Okay, there's a hydrate for you, Eva. So now let's do this again. Help blow out candles, Bow Broke. Okay. <laughs> come on, come on. She's exhausted. Okay, wait, can he not do it from there? Where is he? Oh, he's sleeping. Oh my God, wake up. I was like, where is he? Get up and get over here and blow out the candles, child. She's about to pass out. She's so tired. Okay, come on. I didn't realize he was sleeping. Still. Here we go. Blow it out. Oh, look at his little face. It's so dark in Brandy's house. We need another light in here. And here he goes. Aging up. Aww. I got a last exception again. Um, he- oh, look how cute he is! Skip- 
sent Bo a gift from the afterlife. Okay. So let's look at his little, look at his little face. Oh my God, he's so cute. I forgot to give everybody eyelashes. I just realized Dawn was the only one I, I gave eyelashes to. Bye, Elise. He's cute. Look at his little, we got to fix his outfit and stuff. Okay, so does he get, why does he have no traits? He has no traits? Hold on. He likes classical and spooky music. He likes piano. Oh my god, that's perfect for him. He likes piano. He likes gray and he dislikes red. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Um, He likes spirited sins and he dislikes pessimistic sins. I know we didn't get the pop-up. He likes deception and he dislikes discussing interest. Hold on. Maybe it just hasn't popped up yet? Like, why didn't it pop up? Okay, let's take him into create a sim. And we can choose it there. Um, enter create a sim. I, that's weird. That's never happened to me before. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and I didn't get to choose his aspiration either. So he, I already know that he's going to be a creativity sim. Um, he's musical. So theater kid, void critter champion, creative genius, or... I don't know which one, maybe not. Which one should I do? Drama? Hmm. I mean, I don't think he's gonna be mental. Maybe he'll be drama. Or maybe I'll just give him grow, oh, that's right. I give all my kids grow up. I give all my kids grow up, but I could give him creativity, I don't know. I think I'm gonna just give him grow up. And then uh, for traits, so what I do for my traits is when they become a child, they inherit a trait from their father. So Skip broke. I don't remember what I, what traits I gave him. But great. Uh, let me see. Let me look at his personality real quick on the Sims Wiki. So he is um, pretty outgoing. And I'm just, you know what? I'm just going to give him a random trait. I'm just going to give him a random trait since I don't know what his dad's traits are. We're just going to go with random. Usually I would have the child inherit from the father. When he, they become a teen, they inherit from the mother. And then they get one random trait. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just give him a random trait. And he got self-assured. I love that. Okay, he's self-assured. And he likes the color gray. Okay, so we will we will keep that in mind as we are choosing his outfits. So let's see, that's his sleep. So every day, oh, he has a little gray vest on. I love that. He can keep his little gray vest on. And we'll just make his make these like jeans. Yeah, that looks pretty cute. And then we'll change his shoes. I kind of like to keep the clothes that they chose if I feel like they match, but I feel like those shoes do not match, okay? Yes, that is a mod, Thunder Foxy, that I use to, uh, that, uh, that randomizes the, tr uh, likes and dislikes. And I believe it's called, I can't remember what it's called, I can look on my website real quick. Um, if you look at my Sims 4 mods list on my website, you'll find it on there. Maybe somebody in the chat can remember what it's called really quick. Um, let's see. What is it? Can't remember which one it is. But it's definitely a mod and I definitely remember downloading it. New, no, it's not new hobby traits. Um, oh, smart sim randomizer is what it's called. Smart sim randomizer. Yes. Okay. So hopefully, uh, yeah, it's called smart sim randomizer. All right, let's find him some different shoes. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Maybe the, I don't know. 
Maybe boots? Mm. I don't know. Let's try another color. Like a black color of boots. Um, I think the boots are cute, actually. With little cuffed. No, I've had no more stream connections this whole two hours. We've been good. Alright, so there's his little outfit. And then, yeah, I have a mods list on my website of all the mods I use. Uh, if you go to PleasantSims.com and go under Sims 4 mods list. No, I'm just about to, I'm just about done with the stream after I finish fixing up Bow Broke here. Because I've been going for like over three hours at this point. Longest stream I've done in a while. So he likes this little thing for his formal. That's fine, but we're going to change his pants. Okay. Uh, we're going to change his pants and his shoes uh, to black. There we go. Let's put some socks on him. Oh, and don't let me forget to give him his eyelashes. Look at his cute little face. Uh, skin. De where's my skin details? Let's give him eye. Let's give him little blonde eyelashes. Aww. Hey, there's his formal. I know my voice has been holding up well. It has. And then for his athletic, this is the thing he wants to wear. Do we have this in gray? No. So I'll just leave the green. And let's change your little shorts to grayish. And then give you some shoes. Um, those do not match at all. None of these match. Those do. Okay. All right. Let's give you some socks. <clears throat> okay. And then for your pajamas, um, that's kind of that's kind of gray, more grayish. And then for your pants, we'll do the matching pants. And I'm gonna take take off those shoes. And then. Uh, Let's see, does he have, he only likes gray is all he likes right now. So for his party outfit, he likes this shirt. It does come in gray. Uh, we're going to obviously change your pants here. We'll give you some like little jeans, some little gray jeans and some shoes. Uh, maybe some little, I don't know, some little boots. Yeah. Not that color. How about black? I and mean, that's kind of cute. That's a cute little outfit for your party outfit. And then your swimwear. Let's see. Is that Does that come in a gray color? Any kind of gray? Not really. So I guess I'll just let you keep that one. Then for your hot weather. Oh, okay. Uh, the King Lex says, if you have the Aspirations rework mod, it conflicts with the children and makes them all age up with no traits. It's probably what the last exceptions are from. I just had to take it out yesterday. Okay, I, I'm going to leave it in because I love it so much, but I'll just go into Create a Sim and give all my children their traits. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so for uh, his shirt here, let's see. That's got a little gray monster on it. And then his shorts... Oh, he doesn't like red, though. He doesn't like red. Hold on. We can't give him that. Does anything else have gray on it? He, that does, but it also has red. Oh, there we go. That one has gray. All right. And then for his shorts, um, we'll give him those. That's kind of cute. I'll let him keep that little bracelet on. And then we'll give him... Uh, yeah, I mean, you can keep those sandals. There we go. It's cute, I guess. I think the I think I like the white sandals better. And then for his cold weather outfit, okay, great. We're gonna take off those random glasses that you just have in your cold weather weather outfit. And that coat actually works perfectly for you because it's gray. It doesn't look that warm though. I don't know. I'll let you keep it, and I'll let you keep your jeans as well. Let's. I want to make the jeans a little bit of a darker color. Yeah, I like that better. And then for your shoes, if those are the shoes you want. Um, I'm not giving you those shoes. We're changing your shoes. We'll give you these gray, gray boots. Yeah, there we go. So there's your cold weather outfit. 
Okay, so there he is. Our, he's gonna play the piano. That's what he likes to do. That's gonna be his hobby. Our little musical genius here. Bo broke. <laughs> Oh, yeah, if you play with neighborhood, if you play with story progression, yeah, it, I could see that causing problems, the King Lex, yeah. Because all your children were disappearing because they didn't have traits, yeah. Um, I can definitely see that. I don't, no, nobody ages up in my game without me, without my permission, so, without me being there, so it wouldn't be any problem for me. But if you're playing with neighborhood stories or story progression, yeah, you're, that's going to be a problem for you. I can definitely see that. Okay, so Bo is ready to go, y'all, and we're ready to move on uh, from this house. So I'm going to save here. And actually, this is going to be the end of the stream. Um, so uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. Yeah, this was a super long stream for me. I streamed for three hours and 15 minutes today. We did have to restart the stream once, so this is like a two-part stream. But it was super fun. So in next, the next time we play... Uh, we will be playing the Dreamer household, and then we'll play the Pleasants. And then we'll be ready to start our rounds. So I'm super excited. Yay! I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was, it was really fun. And if you like the save file and would like to play it yourself, uh, you can download it on my website at PleasantSims.com. And as always, you can see all my mods list and everything there. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for the subs and everything. I really appreciate you. And I will see you, uh, I guess I'll see you on Friday for the next stream. But I've got more videos coming up for you this week. Bye!